I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is Psych Hacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is respect means different things to men and women. So I'm going to be presenting this idea in the context of some feedback that I frequently receive from women, both in real life and on this very channel. I often hear them complaining about the fact that in their eyes, it seems like men don't really know what to do with them. They don't seem to take the initiative. They don't seem to lead the relationship. They might seem awkward or inept at sex and seduction, and they don't seem to pursue women with any sort of real purpose. I hear them say, where are all the men who know how to treat a woman? It's a great question, and I can understand from a female's perspective how this would be a frustrating experience, so I'm here to help. I've given it some thought, and this episode is what I've come up with. Now, before I explain why this phenomenon might exist, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It takes less than a second, costs you nothing, and it's how you can support me in my mission to deliver free, high-quality content to the world. Thanks for your help. Oh, and be sure to watch the end of the episode because I've saved the most important reason for last. Now, back to it. I think that this experience of women can be attributed largely, though not entirely, to different comprehensions of the idea of respect. Respect means something different to a man than to a woman. And this is something that we haven't really appreciated as a culture because it may create unintended consequences, such as the ones that we're discussing, when you tell men to respect women. This is something we drill into boys from a very young age. You have to respect women. You have to respect women. But respect might mean different things to men than it does to women. Let's look into this further. First of all, let me make very clear that I'm not advocating that anyone should be taught to disrespect women. I'm not saying that. That said, if you don't respect somebody, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're disrespecting them. For instance, just because you're not giving me respect doesn't mean that you're actively disrespecting me you may just be feeling neutrally towards me. And as I've said in the previous episode, it's always best if people earn your respect and your disrespect. At the end of the day, I think it might be a better idea to teach boys that they shouldn't disrespect women. That would potentially create less of a problem here. So, what's the issue? There are three, actually, and they relate to how men understand respect. So what does respect mean to a man? First, respect means that I look up to you. There's an element of admiration to respect. It's not really possible to respect across, and it's certainly not possible to respect down. Remember, we're not talking about respect in the sense of basic human dignity. Men tend to associate respect with admiration of excellence. So when a man respects a woman, he puts her on a pedestal. This tends to create a lot of difficulties in the courtship process. This is because it puts the woman in the position of the adored and the man in the position of the adorer. And this robs the woman of the opportunity to have the more emotional experience in the relationship. And if you wanna know more about these terms, please check out my series on the balance of attraction, links in the pinned comment below. Women are generally more emotional than men, and so they prefer to go to relationships to feel, to have emotional experiences. And they're going to feel much more if they're in the position of the adorer, not in the position of the adored. However, they are put there when men go out of their way to demonstrate their admiring respect. So that's one unintended consequence, that women might be going out with these men who put them on a pedestal, which in turn prevents women from feeling much with respect to these men. Second, to the masculine mind, respect means deference. When you respect someone, you tend to defer to their judgment or expertise. You ultimately won't be making the decision because you acknowledge that the other person might be in a position to know better. Deference means humble submission. Tell me what you want, and I'll make it happen. This might sound nice in theory, but in practice, it means that a man exercising deference 
isn't going to be making plans, setting up dates, making decisions, or driving the relationship. He's going to be deferring to what she wants to do because he's trying to show that he respects her. Do you see? And the third thing, the final thing that's tricky with respect to the masculine mind, the thing that exerts an enormous influence on the phenomenon we're discussing here, is that it's very, very difficult for respect and sexuality to coexist at the same time. Think about it. In any situation where respect is socially expected, a graduation, a ceremony, a funeral, sex is completely inappropriate. Sexuality in these contexts would actually be disrespectful. Respect is not arousing. If anything, it nullifies the sexual impulse. Men think that they have to suppress their sexuality in order to be respectful because we would never express our sexuality in any other situation that calls for respect. The upshot here is that you can't really respect someone and want to fuck them at the same time. A man can respect his woman like as a person, but on some level, he has to be able to turn that off in the bedroom in order to fuck her. It is what it is. And this seems to be true from the woman's perspective as well. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but when a woman is sexually satisfied, I don't think her primary emotional experience is that of feeling respected. Like, whoa, oh, you respected the shit out of me last night. It's like, that's not typically how it works in the bedroom. This means that for men, respect and assertive masculine sexuality are at odds with each other. This might not be a problem for women when it affects men that they're not attracted to. In fact, it's probably a benefit to them. However, when it affects men that they are attracted to, it can leave them feeling confused, frustrated, and disappointed. A man showing respect will not also be showing sexual intent. The two are mutually exclusive in a man's mind. So those are three ways that the idea of respect might be tripping men up with respect to dating women and why women might experience a dearth of confident initiative coming from men in the sexual marketplace. I think that a better word to use here might be consideration. Women want their feelings and their preferences to be taken into account. But they typically still want the man to initiate contact, set up the date, make the plans, initiate sex, be assertive, and generally lead them in the direction of a desired relationship. Consideration influences, but it does not determine what the man does, and this consideration can be expressed through self-initiated action. Hopefully that makes sense. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and thank you for listening.